As is the case with many pets, if you give them plenty of love and affection, things should turn out pretty well. If they don't get what they need, things can get a little hairy, as these videos show. Fortunately, they are simply for educational purposes, and the cats aren't considered dangerous at all if they're raised the right way. From the colorful cat to the small wild palaces, here are 15 most dangerous cat breeds in the world. Number 15. Green Dragon Cat It's probably not surprising that this barber thinks this breed of cat is dangerous, considering he was dying it green at the time. I mean, have you ever tried to bathe your cat? Some are okay with it, others literally try to tear your eyes out. So I imagine sitting it in a barber's chair for a cut and color wouldn't have gone down too well. I can't even fathom why anyone would even think this was a wise idea in the first place, but hey, what do I know? This Russian pet owner decided in all his wisdom that he would quite like his cat to look like a green dragon. Perhaps it's a new fad in Russia, we're not sure, but it's safe to say it didn't go well. According to the cat's owners, he doesn't really like strangers all that much. So the likelihood of him bonding with the barber, his clippers, and a dye pot was quite remote. While the owner of the pet beauty salon claims that the dye is not harmful, a spokesman for the RSPCA said that animals should not be painted or dyed for cosmetic reasons alone. But with bright colored fur and clever cuts being the latest trend for pets in Russia, it's not likely the pet beauty business will run out of customers anytime soon. And you have to admit, this guy looks pretty cool, don't you think? Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or Slenderman will come from under your bed while you're sleeping. <laughs> Number 14. Palace's Cat. This small, wild cat is a far cry from your cute and fluffy domesticated version. Also called the Manul, the palace cat was first described by its namesake German naturalist Peter Simons Palace as the domestic Persian's ancestor. He believed they were closely related because both had a stout build, long fur, and a flattened face. But that's where the similarities end. Despite being small and furry, Palace's cats are aggressive. In fact, kittens will growl even before they are able to open their eyes. Some describe them as the original grumpy cat, and it's a label they deserve. Their facial expression says it all. These little felines should be approached with caution, if at all. Fortunately for those who encounter them, the palace is a poor runner, so it won't give chase in a hurry. Instead of trying to outrun predators, they often seek refuge in small crevices or near boulders, waiting it out until the way is clear. Essentially, they are the ultimate scaredy cat. Because of their long, thick coats and stocky builds, Palace's cats look larger and heavier than they are. Instead, they are similar in size to domestic cats and are often mistaken as such. They live in the grasslands and montane steppes of Central Asia, and due to habitat degradation, prey base declining, and hunting, the palace's cat has been classified as near-threatened since 2002. Number 13. The Savanna. This hybrid cat breed is a cross between a domestic cat and a wild African serval. It is the largest of the cat breeds, and is described as a dog-like cat that weighs up to 25 pounds. The unusual mix is relatively new among breeders, only becoming a registered breed in 2012. Although many countries allow them to be kept as domestic pets, some provinces have restrictions that depend on the generation of the cat. F1 and F2 generations are usually the largest, with early generation savannas weighing up to 20 pounds and later generations up to 15 pounds. The first cat was born on April 7, 1986. 
They come in different colors and patterns, and have been developed to give the impression of grandeur and dignity of a wildcat with a cheetah-type appearance. The Savannah is a stunning cat with huge sonar-like ears, long legs, and expressive eyes that appear to have dark tear stains. Most have a well-rounded temperament, but they can be feisty. They are intelligent, curious, and very active. <laughs> so require a lot of attention. These beautiful big cats are not for the faint-hearted, but if you're happy to spend lots of time entertaining them and encouraging good behaviors, owning one shouldn't be a problem at all. Number 12. The Chosi. The Chosi is a domestic breed of cat that was developed by breeding a few individuals from the non-domestic species Jungle Cat with a far greater number of domestic cats. They are a distinctive looking cat with an incredibly athletic and muscular build. Classified as a non-domestic hybrid that has a completely domestic temperament, the Chosi has striking facial features that draw plenty of attention and intrigue. These cats originate from South Central Asia and are the true heavyweights of the domestic cat kingdom. In fact, they weigh as much as your average medium dog. That's one big cat. One of the most noticeable features of the Chosi is its ears. These sit upright and taper to make slightly rounded points and make them appear like they're always listening. The Chosi is also very athletic and extremely social. It can leap up to six feet in the air and doesn't like to be left alone for extended periods of time. Their coats come in a variety of colors, including brown tick tabby, solid black, and black grizzled tick tabby. The hair itself is lighter closer to the skin and becomes darker. Whereas the domestic Chelsea is affectionate and enjoys company, the wild version loves running and requires a lot of space to blow off steam, so it's important you don't get the two mixed up. Number 11. The Jungle Cat This medium-sized cat is native to the Middle East, South and Southeast Asia, and Southern China. The jungle cat, also called reed cat or swamp cat, mainly inhabits wetlands like swamps, littoral and riparian areas with dense vegetation. Similar in build to the serval, this large cat has long legs and a slender body and is an intriguing mix of both its wild and domestic relatives. Although they are born with stripes for safe concealment, as they mature, their fur is primarily sandy brown, reddish, or gray, except for some dark striping on the legs and faint rings on the tail. Adult jungle cats are solitary in nature, except during the mating season and when a mother is raising her offspring. These babies start catching their own prey at around six months and leave the mother by nine months. Both sexes mature by the time they are one year old. The jungle cat can weigh anywhere between 9 and 28 pounds, reach heights of 14 to 16 inches, and lengths of 28 to 48 inches. Its preferred prey is small mammals and birds. Since the early 1990s, jungle cat encounters have decreased due to overhunting and the destruction of their habitats. Today, their official status in many countries is critically endangered. Number 10. The Siamese. This elegant cat is one of the first distinctly recognized breeds of Asian cat and one of several derived from the Wachian Mat land race. Native to China and brought to Thailand, the original Siamese is among the foundation stock of several other breeds developed by crossbreeding with other cats. It became one of the most popular breeds in Europe and North America in the 19th century. The Siamese is a medium-sized breed with a long, muscular body. Its legs are long and slender, and its eyes are almond-shaped and bright blue. They are truly one of the more striking felines, with the color of the fur on their ears, tail, and feet darker to that of the body. This contrast is called color restriction, or more commonly, 
pointing and gradually blends into the light color of the body. The face also shows the same deeper point color. This is like a mask and covers the face, surrounds the eyes, and covers the whisker pads. Siamese cats are very intelligent and affectionate. They require a lot of attention, love heights, and enjoy playing with toys. The legendary temple cat of the King of Siam, the Siamese was once used as a guard cat. If anyone threatened the king, the cats would jump down from the pillars onto the individual, knocking them down and scratching their faces. Number 9. Bobcat These guys are super cute, particularly as babies. They are often mistaken for a domestic cat or a mountain lion, but are quite different to both. The bobcat is two to three times larger than its domestic relative and slightly smaller than the mountain lion. It also has a distinctive bob tail, hence the name. Other features that distinguish the bobcat from its peers include its tufted, pointed ears and the large black spots on its flanks, legs, and sides. The bobcat's rear legs are also disproportionately longer than its front legs, so it literally walks on an angle. Although these cats have a bit of a reputation, they don't normally attack people. In fact, bobcat attacks are virtually unknown. The neighbor's dog's more likely to cause you grief than this wild feline, with approximately 3 to 5 million people attacked by domestic dogs in the US every year. Your pets, however, aren't quite so lucky, and should be protected from bobcats and other wild animals at all times. Don't allow your animals to roam free unsupervised, and ensure that you are not attracting predators to your yard by keeping it clean and removing any food sources. Bobcats tend to be shy and avoid people. It's very rare that they become aggressive, and if they do, it's often because they have rabies and authorities should be notified. Number 8. Mekong Bobtail the Mekong Bobtail is a very old breed originally named Thai Bobtail for Thailand, the country of origin of its progenitors. It's now named after the Mekong River and is found in parts of Asia. In the 19th century, 200 Mekong Bobtails were among the royal cats given to Russian Emperor Nicholas II by Chula Longkorn, King of Siam. The majority had kink tails and closely resembled those of the modern-day Mekong bobtail. The breed is considered to have been developed in Russia. Today, it continues to be experimentally developed there with other bobtails and some Siamese cats. The Mekong bobtail became more widely known in the 1980s, but was not recognized as an official breed by the World Cat Federation until 2004. These gorgeous felines display a combination of the Siamese point colors and the bobtail of a Manx. They are a medium-sized cat with a glossy glossy, short coat, and large, bright blue eyes, with a wild expression that makes them appear unapproachable. But that's not the case. Friendly, social creatures, the Mekong Bobtail is anything but dangerous. They are both affectionate and curious, making them a very popular household pet. Number 7. Stone Cougar when it comes to the stone cougar, they recognize just one master, and anyone else should approach with caution. This cat will consider all those except their master as strangers. They will become very aggressive and alert to people they don't know. It's not surprising, then, that owning a cat of this breed isn't advisable if you have children. Unfortunately for owners of these big cats, there's a difference between domesticating and taming a wild animal. These cougars can learn to exist in the same world as humans. They can even learn to behave in a fairly calm manner. But they are still wild animals and can be predictable. Domestication requires significant changes to the species over multiple generations. It requires requires specific breeding with other similar animals that display desired traits, such as docility. The stone cougar has a lot of attributes that prevent it from being domesticated, including their diet, need for an adequate living space, and their general interest in leading a solitary life. They can also be aggressive towards humans, so aren't really considered a suitable pet for most. 
Number 6. The Bengal Cat This large, sleek, and very muscular cat is gorgeous, but pet owners do need to be careful when choosing one to join their family. They are high energy and need lots of exercise and playtime to burn it off. If this doesn't happen, they can get aggressive. They can also appear aggressive when playing, so it pays to be vigilant, especially when there are smaller children around. <coughs> the Bengal cat has a wild appearance, enhanced by its distinctive thick and luxurious spotted or marbled coat similar to a leopard. This coat is quite unique, as no other cat displays the gold or pearl dusting effect found on some Bengals. Although the Bengal tiger is quite well known, the domestic cat version is a relatively new breed on the market. It was originally created by crossing an Asian leopard cat with a domestic cat in the United States and bears a striking physical resemblance to its beautiful wild ancestor. Unlike the tiger, however, this new domestic breed of cat was designed to be a pleasant and trustworthy family companion. The combination has proven successful, and the Bengal cat is now the fifth most popular breed in the UK. Number 5. The Caracal a medium-sized wild cat that is native to the deserts and savannas of Africa, Central Asia, the Arabian Peninsula, and the Caspian Sea coast, the Caracal is a carnivore that hunts and feeds on small mammals. These cats have an average lifespan in captivity of 16 years, and are revered for their exotic beauty and elegance. Historically, they were often depicted in murals and buried with pharaohs in ancient Egypt. Chinese emperors are known to have given them away as special gifts, and caracals were used by rulers to hunt small game in India. Today, cat lovers are still fascinated by the breed, but although some are sold as domestic pets, it's not advised. They have a reputation for being aggressive. In the wild, they are solitary animals. However, when domesticated, they can be quite the playful addition to your home. They are friendly around both people and other animals, and after training can even use a litter box like other cats. One of Africa's ultimate hunters, wild caracals can be dangerous and unpredictable. So if you're looking to adopt one, make sure it's one from a nursery that's been tamed. Number 4. Canadian Lynx the Canadian Lynx is an intriguing-looking wild cat that is typically found in the remote northern forests of North America, Europe, and Asia. It is characterized by its beautiful yellow or brown fur that sometimes has spots, and triangular ears with black tufts at the tips. The medium-sized lynx has large paws with a spreading toe motion, which enable them to act as snowshoes, a handy addition for the cold winters. They're not much for hanging out in groups, and mainly prefer their own company. It's not often that the Canadian lynx is seen by humans, as it mainly hunts at night. Their eyesight is incredibly strong, and it can spot a mouse up to 250 feet away. That's impressive. These majestic cats live off a diet of mice, squirrels, birds, and hares, with the bigger Eurasian lynx hunting larger animals, including deer. Although they have been known to kill farm animals, there are no recorded attacks by lynxes on humans. Number 3. Ocelot this small wild cat might appear like the perfect pet, but it might pay to do your research before committing to having one living in your home. The ocelot is native to the southwestern United States, Mexico, Central, and South America. She's gonna be all over the place while we're filming. This is a wild cat. It is recognized by its solid black stripes and streaks on its coat, white neck, and undersides. A stunning animal with wild, beady eyes, this gorgeous cat is most active during dusk and dawn. There's a difference between the wild and the feral version, however, as they descend from separate evolutionary branches and the latter has not been domesticated. Wild cats are wild and to ensure the safety of the whole household, including other pets, the ocelot should be kept outside. 
In order for it to be happy, the leopard-like feline must enjoy a minimum outdoor surface of 800 square meters. During the hours when this cat is awake, their main activity is hunting. Thus, it may prey on other domestic animals in the surrounding area, including your domestic cat and dog. They are also prone to biting, therefore small children should be kept well away from their razor-sharp teeth. Extremely fast and agile, these gorgeous cats require a vigilant owner. Number 2. Joffrey's Cats These small cats are super cute with their little round ears and leopard-like markings. Native to Central and South America, Joffrey's cats weigh only 4 to 8 pounds when fully grown and are considered among the smallest wild cat species. They have a shorter tail and a more flattened head than their domestic ancestors, and because of their tiny stature, they present no real threat to humans. The Joffrey's cats are also relatively rare. She can walk 20 miles a night in search of food. This is because there is a limited gene pool of these cool cats in captivity. Although there aren't many on the planet, these cats wouldn't make the best household pet as they are timid and thrive in a relatively placid, quiet environment. This means that any family with young kids isn't going to provide the perfect environment for these little guys. What's more, if they are provoked, they can become nervous and aggressive, not the ideal trait for a family pet. Although they are about the same size as your everyday run-of-the-mill domestic version, these cats are covered with numerous small black spots, and their tails are ringed with dark bands. They are often found from sea level to elevations as high as 3,300 meters. The Joffrey's cat is an accomplished climber, but it spends most of its time on the ground, primarily feeding at night on small rodents and birds. Number 1. Abyssinian Cats this domestic short-haired cat has a personality not unlike your average household kitty cat. If not bred properly, it can have an unstable temperament making it nervous, shy, and fearful of people and places. A medium-sized cat, the Abyssinian cat has a long body and developed muscles. Its facial features are similar to those of its wild ancestors, and like them, it is extremely active and loves to climb. These adorable little characters are also very fun-loving and enjoy playing with toys and interactive games with their cat parents. Because they have so much energy, they are very social and can become bored if left alone for long periods. This can result in destructive behavior. Regardless of some of their negative traits, Abyssians can make an excellent addition to an active family. Experts suggest, however, that they have a feline companion and a cat tree, especially if you live in a smaller space. Despite their high exercise needs and energy levels, the Abyssinian has a short, fine coat, so grooming can be a relatively low-maintenance affair. They do enjoy a bath, however, and this is recommended during their shedding season to help reduce loose hair and dander. When you look at your domestic kitty, it's hard to believe that they could possibly be dangerous. Sure, they inflict the odd scratch, maybe even the occasional bite, but you wouldn't describe them as vicious. Their close relations, however, are a whole different ball game, and if you want to keep them as a pet, you'd better be prepared to put in the work. Owning one of these guys is no walk in the park. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!